welcome to the 2017 Junior Minister of Tourism speech competition. <laughs> In my quiet moments when I take time to reflect on what tourism is, it is not easy to put into words and we don't have all night for me to go into the different elements that make up tourism. Put simply, tourism is everything. It's not just persons coming to these shores to experience our beautiful islands. It's the interaction of your cashier at the supermarkets. It's the skillfulness of our chefs. It's the lawyer going for lunch on a hot day that takes the time to tell a person that has minutes ago stepped foot into God's shores, hello. Tourism is everything. It is one of the vital engines that keeps this country moving forward to greater things. This year's competition will touch on other layers of tourism. These bright, energetic students that are full of amazing ideas will touch on the following topics this evening. Tourism's contribution to building a better world, strengthening the image of your destination, and adventure tourism. The winner of this competition would instantly become a local and regional ambassador for the British Virgin Islands. This is not a position to take lightly. One of you deserving students will be the first impression that many people will have of this country. And according to Natalie, who is the show's coordinator, all of you are ready to showcase the BVA is all about. One of you will be afforded the opportunity to compete this November in Grenada at the Caribbean Tourism Organization Youth Congress Regional Tourism Debate Competition. This competition will feature the speech competition winners from the entire Caribbean. The last five years, none of our students actually placed at these, um, this, this event. But I've had some long conversations with Natalie and she, she said that she believes that not only can we place this year, but we can actually bring the trophy home where it belongs. With that being said, on behalf of the British Virgin Islands Tourist Board and Film Commission and the entire BVI, I want to wish each one of you the best of luck. And always remember, only those who dare drive the world forward. Thank you. Enjoy the show. And now we are going to invite Armani Brown to do the national anthem for us. And immediately following Armani, we are going to invite students from the Elmore Stout High School to sing the territorial song. Ancestors bled and died, but with strength and world power we overcame to restore Virgin Islands pride, to preserve the beauty we devise a plan to obtain ownership of your precious land. Educating your people is the golden key to maintain the success of this territory. Oh, how red and are your daughters, and how wealthy are your sons. Your beaches boast your beauty, and your success is second to none. Green and brilliant are your hillsides, they replenish our hopes and pride. Oh, beautiful virgin islands. 
your qualities can never be denied. May God richly bless this territory. May we ask three things of thee. Courage for all great leaders that they may rule our destiny. We ask for wisdom for our people that they may live in harmony. And understanding for our children that they may cherish this legacy. Oh, how ready are your daughters and how wealthy are your sons. Your beaches boast your beauty and your success is second to none. and ride oh beautiful virgin islands your qualities can never be denied oh beautiful virgin islands your qualities can never be Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to meet our judges. Judge number one this evening is Miss Ishelle Hodge. Miss Hodge is a HR professional employed at the Peter Island Resort and Spa. Working at the resort, her love for the development of the British Virgin Islands tourism product has increased and she provides support for the internal guests whose ultimate goal is to create life lasting and memorable experiences for in external guests in her capacity and influence at the resort she is on board with the one bvi campaign as she understands the importance of tourism being everyone's business ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for our first judge michelle hodge Our second judge is Mr. Kevis Hughes, a native of the British Virgin Islands who absolutely loves a good laugh, I can attest to that, and an interesting conversation and loves everything the BVI offers. He left the bright lights of the big city New York to return home to the British Virgin Islands. After working many years within the luxury and tourism industry, he has certainly left one of the most lasting impressions upon many who may have come across his impeccable work ethic. A lover of all things fashion, he definitely has a, the, the, the style eye and surely knows how to light up a room. He is the co-founder of KTJ Marketing, where he spends majority of his time giving his efforts to his clients on helping them to build their marketing capability as well as their brand representation. Kevis will continue being one of the most influential BVI brand ambassadors and looks forward to a bright future wherever that road leads. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kevis Hughes, our second judge. Our next judge is Mrs. Barbara H Deborah Hodge, sorry, who was born on Tortola in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. She completed her primary and secondary education in the territory and later further her studies in the USA. She graduated magna cum laude from Columbia University College with a bachelor's of science degree in counseling psychology and later completed the executive diploma in management from the Chartered Management Institute in the United Kingdom. Mrs. Hodge has been employed with the H. Levity Stout Community College for the past 20 years and currently holds the position as director of, student, of the Student Success Center. In 2008, she became the advisor for the Fifth Seater Kappa International Honor Society. Among her many accolades received in 2007, 
She was recipient of the HLSCC National Institute for Staff and Organizational Development Excellence Award in 2010, recipient of Madison's Who's Who Among Business Leaders and Professionals, 2013 Distinguished Chapter Advisor, and in 2014, she was selected as one of the 25 faculty scholars for the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. Her passion in life is motivating, inspiring, and working with young people. In her spare time, she enjoys traveling, meeting new people, sports, reading, and spending time with her family. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for third judge, Mrs. Deborah Hodge. Our fourth judge is Mr. Kareem Nelson Hull. Kareem Nelson holds a bachelor's degree in broadcast journalism and lecture and a master's degree in international relations, both from the University of Miami. On stage, he is a TV personality and professional event host with notable appearances as guest host of the BET off-screen series Music Matters. Off stage, Hull has done patriotic things like shared in the composing of the Virgin Islands Territorial Song, O Beautiful Virgin Islands. And backstage, he has done exciting things like wrote the Virgin Islands Dictionary, which will be released soon. On the main stage, Lord, there's a lot of stages, Karim. <laughs> He is a specialist in communications, focusing on marketing, public relations, corporate communications, and advertising. On the side stage, there's another stage, he is the adjunct professor for speech communications at the H. Levity Stout Community College, and an entrepreneur as creative director of Wonders of the Virgin Islands and part owner Sweet Teas, both located at Tortola Pier Park. Kareem Nelson is a proud member of the Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, Inc. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for a fourth judge, Mr. Kareem Nelson Hall. And that's Kareem Nelson. There you go. And our final judge for the evening is Mrs. Annette Dalmida Scatliff. A highly motivated, conscientious professional with over 21 years' experience across a wide spectrum of the human resources profession, Annette Dalmeda Scatliff is currently the executive assistant to the director of tourism of the British Virgin Islands Tourist Board. With a great passion for the British Virgin Islands, she has achieved unparalleled success in all aspects of steering guests to our destination. Please put your hands together for Annette Dalmeda Scatliff, our fifth and final judge for the evening. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our contestants competing for Junior Minister of Tourism 2017. From the Brigada Flax Educational Center Secondary, please put your hands together and welcome competitor Kiara St. Rose. And our next competitor for the evening is from the Cedar International, and she is Zariana Grant. Put your hands together for Zariana Grant. From the Elmore Stout High School, we welcome Killian Freeman. And from the Seventh-day Adventist School, we welcome to the stage our final competitor, Shamir Smith. Shamir Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for all four competitors. The rule for the evening is simple. Competitors are given two minutes in which they need to make their first presentation. The bell will ring once, indicating that you have one minute left. So at your one minute mark, the bell will ring, and 
it will indicate that you have a minute to wrap up your presentation. And then once the time has expired, the bell will ring twice. Three minutes? Three? Okay, correction. So three minutes in which to give a presentation. And then at the two minute mark, the bell will ring once, indicating you have one minute left. And then at the end of that final minute, the bell will ring twice. Got that? Thank you. Our first topic for the evening And the, the topics were handed out earlier. So the first topic is, as Junior Minister of Tourism, showcase how your country is advancing cultural values, cultural values, diversity, and heritage in its pursuit of a sustainable development of its tourism product. And this topic was chosen by our first speaker, Miss St. Rose. Put your hands together for Miss St. Rose. I acknowledge the protocol that has already been established. Honorable adjudicators, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Ross Perot, an American presidential candidate in 1992 stated, talk is cheap. Words are plentiful, but deeds are precious." End of quote. This expression says that it is easy to make statements which are not supported by action or evidence. This presentation, however, will show that here in the Virgin Islands, we are implementing measures geared towards promoting cultural values, diversity, and heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, our culture shapes our identity, but a culture cannot be sustainable unless we focus on protecting, promoting, and preserving it for future generations. Firstly, consider our ecosystem restoration projects. Artificial reefs are being created to provide habitats for marine life. In April 2017, a derelict World War II warship was sunk to provide a marine habitat for hundreds of species of fish. Sir Richard Branson himself said that this site will boost the economy as it will rival the wreck of the Rhone as a premier dive site for locals and visitors. Furthermore, ongoing restoration projects such as was done recently at Copper Mine in Virgin Gorda ensure that our heritage will remain on display for years to come. Secondly, our cultural diversity is reflected in our cuisine. Let me awaken your taste buds as I describe such mouth-watering BVI delights as fish and fungi, pea soup, dumb bread, and such desserts as guava berry tart and sweet potato pudding, which can be enjoyed at local food festivals such as Taste of the BVI. Finally, our cultural celebrations offer a host of economic and social benefits. During our annual Emancipation Festival and Culture Week, we showcase our dress, our food, our folklore, and of course, our Fungi music. Not only do we instill a sense of community pride and knowledge of our heritage, but we also attract visitors who spend money which boosts our economy. Ladies and gentlemen, we here in the Virgin Islands are proud of our cultural values, diversity, and heritage. The measures that we have taken clearly demonstrates that actions definitely speaks louder than words. I thank you. Put your hands together one more time for Miss St. Rose. Kicking things off to a great start. Good job. 
Our next presenter will present on the topic, as Junior Minister of Tourism, you and your team at the Ministry of Tourism have been challenged to come up with one signature product for your country and would, that would capture the imagination of young visitors and to pitch your idea to a mixed audience on Facebook. The product must be authentic and contain one or more of the following elements. Learning experience, something new. Pleasure seeking and entertainment, physical and relaxation based, and you must also share how you believe this signature product will strengthen the image of your destination. Please put your hands together and welcome our next speaker for topic number two. Good evening, everyone. As Junior Minister of Tourism for the BVI, I will lead my team in developing a signature amusement park, namely the BVI Seaside Fun Spot. BV the amusement park will be ideally located on Wickham Ski One. We will aim to attract young visitors, locals, and their families. The park will offer authentic experiences to its visitors and will conveniently provide entertainment both day and night. The park will feature wet and dry rides, a mini theater, local cuisines, games, musical entertainment, and a private lounge for relaxation. BVI Seaside Fun Spot will provide an opportunity to have a fun and exciting experience with scenic views of tranquil water and luscious hillsides. To my understanding, fun acti activities are at night, and they are mainly for adults. With our BVI Seaside Fun Spot, there will now be exciting events for young visitors and our youths to engage in and entertain themselves in a positive and safe environment. What is the new experience? Visitors will experience fun in the sun on a tropical island, rides with spectacular views of hillsides, blue waters, sailing boats passing by, and of cruise ships when in port. There will also be water rides for adults and children. Visitors may relish several delicious local cuisines, like our delicious Johnny Cakes and tasty fungi and fish, from restaurants that will be on site. Visitors will also engage and interact with locals through various activities at the park. At the mini theater, locals will react historical events, bringing them to life. At the game sites, patrons will engage in local games such as double dutch, dominoes, and marbles. Musical entertainment will be provided by local bands, and of course, the heritage dancers will be there. For tranquil relaxation, patrons will relax at the seaside lounge with benches and hummocks where traditional local dainties and refreshing local drinks will be served for an additional fee. For this amusement park will definitely bring in more visitors to our shores. Tortola will be the only island in both the British Virgin Islands and the US Virgin Islands with an all year round amusement park. The BVI Seaside Fun Spot will not only lure visitors from neighboring islands, but also attract families from the Caribbean and international regions. The amusement park will give our visitors an, an even more memorable and lifetime experience, and also boost our tourism industry in these British Virgin Islands. Can you imagine it? Can you already see it? Well, the BVI Seaside is coming to you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Grant. So far we have heard from Kiara St. Rose from the Brigada Flags Educational Secondary, put your hands together, and Zariana Grant from the Cedar International. Also selecting topic number two is, number three? Okay, we'll move on to topic number three. Adventure and Caribbean travel go perfectly together. Whether through energetic activities such as zip lining high above the valley or speeding around a racing circuit 
or more serenely relaxing down a river and hiking through the country's interior. For some travelers, an adventure is simply exploring local communities to learn their language and their customs and teasing the senses with new cultural and culinary experiences. Quote by CTO's Secretary General is, he declared in 2017, the year of adventure for the Caribbean, linked to the 2017 International Year of Sustainable Tourism. Some key facts on adventure travels have been put before you as Junior Minister or Commissioner of Tourism and you cannot ignore. Average spent per trip is $947 US. Average length of stay is 10 days. More likely to use professional services of guides, tour operators, instructors, etc. and spend on gear and equipment. Please welcome our next speaker for topic number three. Kelly and Freeman from the Elmore Stout High School. Again, I must remind you that the topics were given in advance and uh, Kelly and chose topic number three. One more time, put your hands together for Ms. Freeman. It's morning. She stretches out on sparkling sand, listening to rhythmic turquoise waves. Later that day, she banks curves of the shoreline at breathtaking speeds, pushing the throttle, embracing adventure, seeming to hover above the water, at times becoming airborne. She grips the handlebars of an electric jet ski. Colleagues, this electric jet ski rider embodies our BVI guests. Multifaceted, hailing from around the globe, they arrive at our shores seeking luxurious pampering, juxtaposed with thrilling activities. Luckily, the BVI and adventure tourism are a perfect match. Worldwide, potential vacationers were captivated by images of former US President Obama testing his dexterity on a kiteboard right here in the BVI. Renowned for being nature's little secrets, it's no secret that our natural beauty is perfect for guests who desire intense, heart-pumping, stimulating activities. Our thrill-seeking guests have so many options, from regattas to diving, to zip-lining, to sub-winging. The BVI is an adventure destination. Jet skis aren't new to the BVI, but eco-friendly electric jet skis are. I propose that we add agile electric jet skis to our richly varied tourism product. Guests can explore the fascinating coast of our over 60 islands and keys, and we can enhance their experiences while ensuring minimal carbon footprints and reduced noise pollution by utilizing the latest innovation in jet skis and electric motor. Our guests, who spend an average of $947 per trip, can jump on an electric jet ski to experience our most prized possession, our pure crystalline waters. Our guests, who generate approximately $480 million to our economy as of 2015, experience a vacation with variety. Electric jet ski adventure businesses will see overall profit and our economic cycle is invigorated as they employ young people to escort guests on adventures and provide related services. The BVI tourism becomes more sustainable as it benefits from this simple equation. New product plus new buzz equals more tourists and increased revenue for the tourism industry. Electric jet skis as an innovative tourism product in the BVI will entice new guests to visit our shores and provide a new diversion for our repeat guests, attracting both adventure tourists and eco-tourists who seek adventure but cherish Mother Earth. Colleagues, it's obvious 
that BVI travel and adventure tourism and electric jet skis go perfectly together. I thank you. I think I need to sum up the topic she presented on for you. Um, she was charged with the responsibility of making a pitch to the financial institution to get funding for the proposed adventure tourism project in her country. And she should also use the opportunity to showcase the project and to provide and prove its viability in enhancing the country. That's the summary of the, the topic. And I think our fourth and final speaker in this segment will also present on the same topic. Please, please put your hands together and welcome Shamir Smith from the Seventh-day Adventist School. Unfortunately, compared to the rest of the world, we are as small as ants, miniature and trivial. Fortunately, however, there is strength to this weakness. Like ants, we realize that working together builds our strength. Amidst our handicaps, we aspire to, figuratively speaking, lift 10 to 100 times our weight. As a colony, we collectively innovate ideas that enrich our lifestyle and traditions. The one thing we can count on to accomplish the unimaginable are the unified efforts of our people. It is with this conviction that I expose to you the BVI's Pirate Cove Paradise, a project that will promote developing our gifts, elevating our society, and achieving the near impossible using the amalgamated results of our populace. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, aspiring students, and inspiring paragons. My name is Shama Smith from the Tatola Seventh-day Adventist School, possessing the opportunity to revolutionize the way we view ourselves, and how the world will perceive us. Coming from the Entrepreneur Business Institute summer program, I have learned that taking an idea from start to development is key. My idea is simple, yet filled with potential. The goal is to use each island's resources to the best of their abilities in a fun, packed utopia. And yes, this includes our waters. How do I plan to do this? First, let me express my vision. I visualize a network between the islands in the BVI. To portray this vision more, I will efficiently, I'll be using the Tatola, Anigata, Virgin Gata, and Justin Dyke as exemplars. On each island, there will be salt watered pirate theme park accompanied by a pirate themed hotel. However, although the theme park may be similar, each island's park and hotel will include different activities and attractions that demonstrate their own culture and resources thus making the Paris Cove paradise unique on each island. Now to compensate for the limited space and size that these parks and hotels can occupy, connecting the Paris Cove paradise on each island together is necessary. This is where the network is introduced. To link all the projects together, I propose to use ferries in the shape of pirate ships. These pirate ships will also enhance the way we travel, also the tourists. These pirate ships will also Help, um, will also help better the experience of having food, drinks, and fun activities provided on board during travel for the tourists. To ensure that guests will want to take the advantage of the many BVI Pirate Cove attractions on their stay, incentive programs and packages will be promoted, encouraged, and rewarded for three or more visited pirate locations. So investors, the Pirate Cove Paradise Network allows our guests to have experience in four diverse theme parks, hotel luxuries, and island sceneries of their culture. It's a package that benefits our guests and the British Virgin Islands on a whole. Generating revenue from our resorts, water parks, and incentive programs, the possibilities of growth in the BVI can be endless. Like ants, the solution to putting our mark on the world is by combining our resources and our ideas by uniting to make difficult projects simple. And with God, all things are possible. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Please put your hands together for all four contestants. Ms. Kiara St. Rose, Zariana Grant, Kellyanne Freeman, and Shamir Smith. Our next segment is our mystery topic segment. 
And in this segment, participants will be given a mystery topic, a member of the BVI Tourist Board will give them the topic, and the participants will have two minutes to prepare and two minutes in which to respond. The timekeeper will monitor the time and indicate accordingly. Don't be nervous, this is your time to drink some water and relax. Ladies and gentlemen, did they do a good job? Awesome. The future of the BVI Tourist Board and tourist pro Tourism Product is in good hands. <laughs> Let you know in advance that the winner of Junior Minister of Tourism 2017 will win a trip to Grenada, a laptop, sash, trophy, four-week paid internship with the BVI Tourist Board, and a gift bag. First runner-up will win an iPad, participation plaque, trophy, gift bag, big gift bag, and gift certificates. And all participants will win phones and plaques, also gift bags. Mystery topic one. As Junior Minister of Tourism or Commissioner of Tourism, share with your fellow colleagues one social media strategy or tactic or activity your tourism department could undertake to promote your destination to the youth market. I'll repeat the topic for you. Share with your fellow colleagues one social media strategy or activity your tourism department could undertake to promote your destination to the youth market. Mystery topic two. We have Caribbean celebrities and persons of Caribbean heritage who make us proud on the global stage. Choose a Caribbean celebrity or a well-known personality of Caribbean heritage to promote the Caribbean and share how you would recommend he or she be used. Again, we have Caribbean celebrities and persons of Caribbean heritage who make us proud on the global stage. Choose a Caribbean celebrity or a well-known personality of Caribbean heritage to promote the Caribbean and share how you would recommend he or she be used. And mystery topic number three. Identify an interesting or unique place or thing that you feel would help to attract visitors to your country and share why you think that place or thing would attract visitors. I repeat, identify an interesting or unique place or thing that you feel would help to attract visitors to your country and share why you think that place or thing would attract visitors. Choose your topic and you will now have two minutes in which to prepare. Repeat number one, sure. As Junior Minister of Tourism or Commissioner of Tourism, share with your fellow colleagues one social media strategy or activity your tourism department could undertake to promote your destination to the youth market. Number two. We have Caribbean celebrities and persons of Caribbean heritage who make us proud on the global stage. Choose a Caribbean celebrity or a well-known personality of Caribbean heritage to promote the Caribbean and share how you would recommend he or she be used. your two minutes. Time is up. At this time, I would also like to use the opportunity to acknowledge the Honorable Dolores Christopher, a cultural icon in her own right. Honorable Christopher, good to see you. Okay, we will begin with Kiara St. Rose from the Brigada Flax Educational Center Secondary.
Please let us know the topic you have chosen and go right ahead and present. One more time for Ms. St. Rose. Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. I have chosen topic number two. And right now, I'm going to present on it. It's Rock City. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Rock City. Rock City is not only known regionally, but worldwide. As Junior Minister of Tourism, I will use one of the, our major resources, our turquoise calm waters. Using this, I am picturing Rock City using jet skis, skyboards, or just simply taking a bath in our waters, singing the famous song, Fet You. Not only this will reach worldwide visitors and tourists, but it will advertise the BVI in many ways possible. And I know that this will attract more tourists into the BVI. I thank you. All right, Rock City is hired for our next marketing campaign. Good job. Put your hands together one more time for Kiara St. Rose from the Regatta Flags Educational Center Secondary. And now we invite to the lectern Zariana Grant, Cedar International. <laughs> Zaria, please tell the audience the topic you chose and go ahead with your two minute presentation. <clears throat> Melania Morrow, winner of one of X Factor season, a past event, is a local to our island, and by winning this competition, she definitely put us on the market. Melania Morrow, by simply just re, re coming, by simply taking a visit every now and again. By winning this competition, she definitely put our beautiful islands on a larger scale. Melanie Amaro, Amaro, winner of one of X Factor season, is a local to our islands. By winning this competition, she definitely put our islands on a larger scale. Put your hands together one more time for Miss Zariana Grant. I completely agree with her. Melanie Amaro did an amazing job. And by winning that competition, she did put Brand BVI on the map. So put your hands together. A good choice, homegrown. Our next presenter is Kellyanne Freeman from the Elmore Stout High School. Kellyanne, please let us know the topic you have chosen and go ahead with your two-minute presentation. Good evening. The topic I chose was topic number one. CTO reports that in 2016, despite political, security, and economic challenges, tourist arrivals to the Caribbean increased, surpassing international growth. I too remain optimistic that social media will help to maintain and build that increase in tourism. One social media strategy that can be used to promote the BVI as a tourist destination is by way of a challenge. The BVI Tourist Board should issue a challenge to the youth of the British Virgin Islands to best depict tourism through a video. This challenge will entice the youth, for we see that around the world, challenges and games like the Ice Bucket Challenge Planking challenge and even the mannequin challenge spread like wildfire through the simple phenomena that is social media. The use of social media will aid the BVI Tourist Board in showcasing the BVI as an ideal tourist destination and by sharing our diverse tourism products through pictures, comments, and videos. Even locals can help promote BVI tourism by the use of simple Facebook posts or Instagram pictures that demonstrate our beautiful, fun facts, adventure-filled islands. So I invite everyone to try a thing 
and help to create a BVI tourism wildfire as we aim to let the world in on nature's little secrets. Remember, we are one BVI. Tourism is everybody's business. I thank you. Kellyanne Freeman from the Elmore Stout High School. Our fourth and final presenter is Mr. Shamir Smith from the Seventh-day Adventist School. Please welcome Shamir Smith. Shamir, let us know the topic. I assume it's number one. Yes. Okay. And go ahead with your two-minute presentation. Wouldn't everybody enjoy making money from browsing the internet? As I presented earlier about pirates, wouldn't you like to be in one of those movie sets in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies? Well, with an app, we can make people love the Caribbean and come to visit it. But what app could have in it? Well, the app could have games, videos, and surveys that help better our businesses and our tourism outreach programs. So, what I plan to do to better our social media market towards our youth or the youth overseas is to provide a like royalty program for people who watch our videos, play our games, do our surveys. They get cards or gift cards um, overseas that will benefit them, which will cause them to maybe like share it with their friends. So they spread it to their friends and we get over like thousands and thousands of people wanting to come to the BVI because they just watch our ads and everything. So, thank you. So, you know I agree. <laughs> Put your hands together for all four competitors in this year's Junior Minister of Tourism competition. Let's hear it for Kiara St. Rose from the Bagada Flax Educational Center. Give it up for... Zariana Grant from Cedar International. Make some noise for Kellyanne Freeman from the Elmore Stout High School. And let's hear it for Shamir Smith from the Seventh-day Adventist School. I don't know about you, but I was nervous for the, the, the com competitors. I mean, think about it. You're given a topic on the spot and you must present a collective thought on the topic. I just think that's nerve-wracking and I have to give them a strong round of applause for doing such an amazing job. <laughs> Elmore Stout High School cheering group, let me hear it for the Rams.
Having a good time? Enjoyed the speeches? Very good. I think we're... One more time, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together in support of all four contestants in the 2017 Junior Minister of Tourism competition. Speech competition. Next year, I predict that the competition will be even bigger, right? Yes, because we're going to go and tell everybody and share it on our social media pages that it was an awesome competition. Yes. And the fact that the One BVI campaign is so amazing and we are all in support of it, I think we have to get everybody on board in promoting brand BVI as the destination of choice. Agreed? I'll share this story with you, right? We took a group of young people to Detroit on a youth trip. And the host decided that they were going to take us to the beach in Detroit. And we were all excited. And you know we Totola people love dress up, right? So we dressed to impress for the beach. When we got to the beach, the team from the from Detroit area, they were so excited and they, run, they were running towards the water and happy and they were jumping in the water and they were like, aren't you guys coming? And we were like, no. Where we from, we can see the bottom of the water. <laughs> so now you understand when these folks come to the BVI, why they are so excited about our lovely, pristine waters because they don't have what we have. And so brand BVI is dynamic and we're going to cherish it and promote it. Agreed? Put your hands together for the BVI Tourist Board, the organizers of the 2017 Junior Minister of Tourism Speech Competition, and for all the participants, you did an amazing job this evening, so congrats. Let us welcome back all four contestants to this stage, participants from the Brigada Flax Educational Center, Kiara St. Rose, from the Cedar International School, we welcome Zariana Grant, from the Elmore Stout High School, we welcome Kellyan Freeman, and from the Seventh-day Adventist School, we welcome Shamar Smith.
we welcome to the stage Miss Janique Williams from the BVI Tourist Board and, no, sorry, Junior Minister of Tourism 2016. Put your hands together for Janique Williams. Each participant will receive medals and bags of goodies, cellular phones, so that they can promote brand BVI on Facebook, WhatsApp, hairdo alert, hairdo alert, hairdo alert. Also, let's give it up for the BVI Tourist Board. The team at the BVI Tourist Board, they are amazing. Listen, I was watching the Miami Opens, and trust me, when I looked and I saw the BVI uh, signs all over, I was like, yes! And that's a big deal. And I think to have gotten a spot like that, you must have done some behind-the-scenes work. So BVI Tourist Board, good job and ensuring that BVI stays current and present. Ladies and gentlemen, first runner-up, Juna Minister of Tourism 2017, is none other than Miss Kiara St. Rose from the Brigada Flax Educational Center. Congratulations, Miss St. Rose, on a job well done. Receiving an iPad, participation plaque, trophy, gift bag, and gift certificates. Good job. You know, my iPad fell this morning and... And... <laughs> and the winner of Junior Minister of Tourism Speech Competition 2017 and is now our 2017 Junior Minister of Tourism is none other than Miss Kellyan Freeman from the Elmore Stout High School. Put your hands together for our judges and our competitors. Tough job, but job well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Junior Minister of Tourism 2017, Miss Kellyan Freeman from the Elmore Stout High School. She did. Yes, she did. They all did. Let us now welcome Mr. Cardell Klein, Product Officer of Transportation, and he will be 
doing the vote of thanks for us. And one more time, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our junior Minister of Tourism participants, our winner and first runner-up. I would like to invite to the stage Honorable Myron Walwyn. Following the vote of thanks, I would like to invite Honorable Myron Walwyn and Honorable Archibald Christian to the stage so that you can have your photograph taken with the competitors. But let us put our hands together for Mr. Klein, who will be giving the vote of thanks for us. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, knowledge of protocol already established. Um, I was given the task of presenting, not presenting, but giving the vote of thanks. Um, platinum sponsor is Petrie Paper um, Plastic Products. Um, gold sponsor is Flow BVI. The staff members and the BVI Tourist Board, I want to say thank you. The creative department, um, Soraya Rima, and uh, the judges, Deborah Hodge, Kareem Nelson Hall, Michelle Hodge and Annette Scatliff, and none other than um, Kevis Hughes. The tabulator tonight, um, Atricia Pereira, and um, Anderson Flax. That's the gentleman that took them on the tours over in Virgin Gorda. We want to say thank you. Kesun Photography. Last but not least, thank you so much.